Welcome back fit fam. And this seems to be an ongoing topic of low energy, but again, these videos are made for the people, by the people, because these are the things that people are questioning me about. They're wondering why coach is my energy suck. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some practical solutions to get you back on track. Now, have you ever found yourself asking, why am I so tired all the time? It's a common question and the answers can vary. So today, let's break it down and figure out what might be going on. First and foremost, let's talk about sleep. How's your sleep been lately? Are you getting enough hours? And more importantly, is the quality of your sleep up to par? Remember, good sleep is the cornerstone of overall well-being. On my smartwatch, every day I check my sleep quality. And in the sleep quality, you have basic two ones that you wanna focus on. Number one is your deep sleep, and the other one is your REM sleep. REM sleep is dedicated towards replenishing your brain. It's gonna help you to feel energized mentally, and then your deep sleep is what recharges your body. And you'll actually notice, if you have one of these smart watches like the Samsung watch, it's gonna break that down to you, and you're gonna be like, yeah, you know what? The last two days have been really tough. And your body goes through sleep cycles. And so what happens if your sleep cycles aren't long enough, then what happens is you're not getting enough of these sleep cycles because your body only goes into them for a short time. If you look at the actual sleep into your, like your, your, your graph that gets printed, you'll see that you're getting a lot of light sleep, but you might not be getting enough deep sleep or REM sleep. And so you have to take the time to really focus on giving yourself the optimized environment for sleep. And if you're looking for that, go back to our YouTube channel and look up sleep. And there I put out some amazing videos of how you can get a better, deeper quality sleep. Now let's shift our focus to physical activity. Ask yourself, how much have you been moving? And ask yourself, how's that workout routine looking? How consistent have you been? I know me, I have to work out in the evening, not by choice. It just works out with my wife's schedule who has a basic nine to five job, so I have to go work out in the evening. I also do coaching during the day, which then eliminates the possibility of me doing a midday workout. So what do I do to recharge myself and get energized for the rest of my day? Because I generally start in and around 6 a.m. and then I go straight till about noon, and then I take that little bit of a mental break to recharge so that I can get onto that next step. So what do you need to do is take about 15 to 20 minutes on your first break if you're at work and just decompress. Get off your phone, get off your computer and take time to just get into deep thought. That'll recharge your body. Or better yet, if you don't move much at work, then what you need to do is plan yourself a quick five to 10 minute walk. If it's super cold outside and you're not a, a cold person, no problem. If you work in a building, go up and down your stairs. If you're working from home, same deal. So that recharge is gonna help you get prepared for that workout that you're gonna do in the evening. And when you work out in the evening, you're gonna find that your body is gonna get recharged naturally because you're getting the blood flowing, you're recirculating your body, and it's just creating a great environment for you to get your energy back. Hydration is super key. Are you matching your water intake to your workouts or perhaps your coffee consumption? Ask yourself, how much coffee are you drinking and how much actual water are you drinking? Is there anything new or is the junk food level a little bit higher than usual? Because our bodies thrive on good nutrition and water is the major component of your entire body. So if it doesn't have the major component, then it's not gonna be able to function properly and it's gonna deplete your energy stores. Let's talk about sunshine. Let's talk about the vitamin D. When was the last time you soaked up some sun? I know in the months of October, November, December, January, February, March, basically April, so like six to seven months of the year here in Winnipeg, it's cloudy, it's dark. I mean, you get up, it's dark. You leave work, it's dark. And so what are we missing? We're missing that sunlight that we used to get in the summer. Why do we feel so good, so energized? Why do our bodies feel so good in the summer? Because we're outdoors more. We're soaking in that fresh air, but more importantly, we're taking advantage of the natural vitamin D coming from the sun. So what could you do? is you can, you know, tanning beds they say are a good way to get the vitamin D, but you can also just go five minutes outside. At the very least, it's gonna help you to refresh mentally and it's gonna give you the energy that you need. Now, if you've gone through all these factors and still feel a little bit low in energy, guess what? It's okay. Sometimes our bodies just need a break and that's perfectly normal. Give yourself the grace to rest when needed. Remember, if you're doing four workouts, go down to two. 
If you're doing two, go down to one. If you're going once a day, then maybe you just need a day off. That's fine. Decrease the load, but don't completely get rid of the load. If you need to completely get rid of it, that's completely understandable. It's going to give you time to recharge and get back up. But hey, if you're looking for a little extra boost, then I've got something for you. Check out the link in the description for a metabolism boosting plan. It's a program designed to kickstart your metabolism and revitalize your energy levels because who knows, it might just be the thing that you need. So thank you for joining me today on Fit Club Winnipeg's YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful or if you have any energy boosting tips to share, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Take care, prioritize your well-being and we'll see you on the next video.